Now Adam knew Eve, his wife. And she became pregnant. When she gave birth to Cain, she said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Then she gave birth again, this time to his brother, Abel. When they grew up, Abel became a shepherd. He took care of sheep. But Cain was a farmer. He cultivated the ground. After some time passed, Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock, and of their fat. The Lord accepted Abel, and his offering. But he did not accept Cain, and his offering. This made Cain very angry, and he looked dejected. The Lord asked Cain, Why are you so angry? Why do you look so dejected? You will be accepted if you do what is right. But if you refuse to do what is right, then watch out. Sin is crouching at the door, eager to control you. But you must subdue it, and be its master. Now, Cain talked with Abel his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against his brother, and killed him. <coughs> then the Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel, your brother? I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? What have you done? Listen. Your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now you are cursed and banished from the ground which has swallowed your brother's blood. No longer will the ground yield good crops for you, no matter how hard you work. From now on, you will be a homeless wanderer on the earth. My punishment is too great for me to bear. You have banished me from the land, and from your presence. You have made me a homeless wanderer. Anyone who finds me, will kill me. No. For I will give a sevenfold punishment to anyone who kills you. Then the Lord put a mark on Cain to warn anyone who might try to kill him. So Cain left the Lord's presence, and settled in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Adam knew his wife again, and she gave birth to another son. She named him Seth, for she said, God has granted me another son in place of Abel whom Cain killed.